Hello, um, a few people asked me how I kind of like my scenes, uh, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial and I thought I'd start with the um, city project I did in the last video. Uh, so let's start. So let's first thing to do is add a camera uh, and then let's find a viewport. Let's what we'll do. I'll press Control Alt Zero to bring the camera to where you were looking at the viewport. Let's make that a bit wider. 35, that'll do the trick. And then let's bring it back a bit. Cool. Yeah, go away. Cool. Uh, and let's have a look through this view. Let's. We could probably do with the just a little bit. Normally, I texture these. Uh, objects but I'm just gonna make them slightly darker. There's no more add a bit of colour to them. A little bit more interesting. And then yeah that'll do. And let's also let's just make it a little bit bigger and wider. Cool. That'll leave time being. Uh, so I've added my camera, let's actually look through the render viewport, so there's not much going on there, so let's add a light. So I should do a trick. I always like to backlight my stuff. Um, so once I say backlight, I mean like the, the light's coming pretty much pointing at the camera. Uh, I'll try that for the time being. Well then let's go work on our environment lighting a bit. So let's go from background. Uh, let's We'll just use the um, sky text, the sky shader things I've got here. So let's use Jose Walkie. Um, let's just tweak these a bit, make it a bit more dramatic. There I do, and then it's got a volume here, and bring in the scatter. Let's give that a little bit of a blue tint, and then let's chuck the density down to something quite low. Zero point zero one, and then if we play the anastrophe here, we can kind of make it a bit more dramatic. So okay, we'll sit up time being. So let's try and add a bit more depth here. So let's um, grab this and let's just duplicate this. And let's put it over here, let's make that a bit more spaced out. And then let's have a put a little bit of a lean on that. Okay, and then let's duplicate that again. Do the same thing over here. Cool, that's pretty cool. And then let's also let's just grab one of these buildings. Let's duplicate that. And let's make sure we take it out of the collection. And let's grab that here. It's always nice to have a bit of um Super foreground stuff. Cool. So if we just render that now, quick to see what it looks like. Cool. So let's have a look at our sun and let's make that maybe. Put a bit of warmth in it. And let's make it a bit brighter as well. Turn on contact shadow maps. Oh, let's turn on all these as well. Ambient occlusion, bloom, screen place, motion blur, 
volumetric shadows. Uh, let's see the shadows here, high bit. Uh, let's cascade up a bit higher. That just basically is the shadow maps from the light. Um, let's also go to ambient occlusion and let's just increase this distance. Some shadows in our darker areas. And then let's also play with the anastrophe of the volume. So we have a kind of a decision, a choice we can make here. That's pretty dramatic for something like that. And should we also add a, let's also add a sunlight in there, a sun in there as well. So I'm going to add a sphere. Let's check it over here. And then the sun's around. It's around there. Uh, and if we make a new shader for this, and then we scroll to the bottom here, we've got settings shadow mode here, so if we put none, that won't cast a shadow. And then if we go here, we can basically get rid of this texture or replace it with an emission. And then we can pick a nice warm color for this. Let's put it up to like 15 or something stupid. 40. Yeah, maybe we'll never see it. Maybe it's because it's not as bright as the sun, but it's in there anyway. See what happens. We can make it bigger. That's pretty cool. So let's hit render again, see what it looks like. That's pretty interesting. Uh, let's just do a quick bit of compositing on it as well. So we go to the compositing node here. Hit use nodes here to select so we can show what we've got. Let's put a bit of space in there. And then I turn this thing into uh, an image viewer as well. To render the result and then if I, yeah, so there you go, there's our comp as is. And then we'll add a few nodes here. So let's add a, um, a glare. And I usually make this the fog glow. And if you put this mix to one, it will show you exactly what the, uh, the, the glow you're getting is. Uh, so I just want to go see so get the sky. So I'm just going to throw this down until I'm getting just the sky really. And then I'll put this back to zero. So we can press M to turn it off and see what, what it does. That's a bit more drama. Kind of, we kind of lose our sun so I might take the mix down a bit. There you go, let's try again. Yeah, that's nice. And then let's add another node. Let's add uh, the RGB curves. I like to add a bit of blue into my shadows, only a tiny bit. A bit too much there. If you're really subtle with this, you can take a bit of warmth, take a bit of blue out of the highlights. And then let's also go to the um, the overall curve, and let's make it kind of a slight S here. Makes it slightly more um, dramatic. So if we turn that off, you can see the difference. And then the last thing I normally, or another thing I normally do is if I add a ellipse mask here, let's just view this. And a bit bigger, and then let's blur that. Three hundred should do the trick. And then we'll go to uh, the mix, and we'll set this to multiply. And I'll bring in that channel, and then we'll add this to there, and then we'll view this output. I'll use this now to add a vignette around my whole image. Let's throw that down loads though. There it goes. If I press M on here, I'll turn it on and off. Cool. And then at the end of my little comp, I'll add a uh, distort node of a lens distortion. And this lens distortion will just. So let's add a point 0.2 on there. And a point five on there, and then let's add um, 
the jitter and we'll fit it so it crops out these corners and that just adds a bit of noise and it makes the edges a bit kind of gooier uh, and that looks pretty interesting so a bit of here and then I'd probably now I've got these things in the foreground here how close are they to the camera they're pretty close to camera so let's see if we can kind of make those sharp a little bit more in our image so if we set the camera um, we go to viewport splare we turn on mist we get this line here which is showing us where our mist is going to be so we need to extend that so first things we do is we go to the passes we output the mist uh, mist pass output and then go to the environment here and there's a mist pass uh, attributes here so let's make make sure that's close enough to come at the beginning and make sure this goes all the way to the end of our kind of city as it were and if we look at that, so if we now uh, render this two point eight seconds, not too bad. And we have a missed output here. So if we look at the missed output, that's what we get. So if we get the, I think it's the converter node to color ramp. Yep, and we put that on that missed. We can now bring this white level down and we can isolate just the front row. That'll do. And then if we add a color mix here and we'll turn it to multiply. And we'll put that in there and we'll join it all back up to as normal. And then let's take this down a bit. So if I turn this off again, press M. Maybe boost that to 0.35. Yeah, it'll And then the only thing I'd probably do here is maybe make that a little bit more exciting. And maybe even add another one behind it. And then let's get our camera settings as well and make sure we're rendering the far end distance. Yeah, we are. And I think that's not quite working there, so let's drop that down a bit. And then what I'd normally do as well here is I'd just put a bit of a, a movement on this camera, so we'll just press I and give ourselves a, a, a keyframe for location and rotation in the beginning go to the end just grab the camera a little bit and move it and then let's add another keyframe on the end and then go to animation get this to be the graph editor and press all select all the keys press T and make that Linear, just so it's a straight, just so it doesn't decelerate and accelerate, so it's a nice straight line. And then let's just apply on that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's just add another sun. And let's make that. A new texture and let's reduce the brightness of that one and make it a bit redder and let's hit render and let's see what that looks like cool uh, let's render that and that will do for the time being cheers bye